Okay, this is going to be a field test of this radio project. This radio has two connectors on the back that you unscrew and put any type of antenna. You could use an official ham radio antenna, or in this case I just have two pieces of wire. I have one orange wire, which I've thrown over a balcony, and I just have it dangling up in a tree right there. And the other end of the wire goes from the radio into that little tree at about this level here. So just a little run of wire. And I'll set this down and turn on the radio and see what we can hear. It's about 5 o'clock at night. So I'll turn on the display. And it starts up at 7 megahertz, 40 meters. And you can hear a lot of Morse code. And you can also hear some, uh, what sounded like radio teletype in there. And there's a lot of radio teletype. So let's test the radio on 40 meters. We start in the Morse code region. It sounds pretty good. We can also hear some digital signals, like radio teletype. This is some of the slower Morse code up here. So now we're in the voice region of 40 meters. I'm going to keep going here. Let's keep going. Back in the front bed, and uh, we'll just say a very good evening to uh, you and anybody else who's listening on the Night Watch, but we know good old Bob up there at East Orwell is, that's for sure. KI4, you are an in the Night Watch, K4 Yellow. Okay, so let's go up to another band. Let's try 30 meters. And you can hear Morse code clearly. There's, Morse code is uh, primarily the form of communication on 10 megahertz. You might be able to hear it in the background weekly. Let's go back up to 20 meters. Now, as you'd imagine, we could probably get some Morse code here. We've heard a bunch of Morse code. Let's keep going. Oh, uh, here's PSK31 calling frequency. A lot of digital communication. Sounds like uh, JT65 and some other digital communication modes. Radio teletype. Okay. You can hear in the background the Canadian guy, the Victor Echo Station. The speaker's back there, which is partially why it's kind of quiet.
such a rascal. <laughs> Here's a digital communication setup in which we have a laptop decoding the data that it's reading from this little radio. This is tuned to a PSK31 calling frequency, a digital form of communication, and it comes out here through a headphone cord and into the computer, and it's able to decode these messages. So I was here testing this receiver, prototype, and I decided to turn it to the QRSS calling frequency. And sure enough, this thing is able to read pretty darn good QRSS signals. Now there's a little bit of uh, fluctuation in frequency, and I think that is a combination of my transmitter changing its temperature as it warms up. I just changed its frequency not too long ago. But also, I'm going to argue that this QRSS transmitter is drifting a little bit because earlier I saw it and compared it to a CW signal and the CW signal didn't drift very much but this particular transmitter did so I don't think this drift has to do with my radio but either way you can see that it's sensitive enough to pick up QRSS at nighttime on 30 meters. <laughs> <laughs> 